the animal associated with the moon as the lion is associated with the sun typically is the bull whose beautiful horns resemble or, or suggest the horns of the crescent moon. And as the moon dies to be resurrected, so in s rituals, the bull is killed to be resurrected. It's, you can't have new life unless you have old death. These things go together. And they're celebrated in the myths of, uh, in the rituals of sacrifice, the bull sacrifice. In Egypt, in Mesopotamia, among the Greeks, and uh, anywhere where there were bulls is, the, is frequently the prime, the prime sacrifice. It's charming in India when you see families in a little bullock cart going to a festival. The horns of the bullocks will be, will be decorated. <laughs> the horns of the bull are the, are the lunar signs. The bull is associated with Shiva. Fraser in The Golden Bow, I think, has made the point irrefutably that the prime sacrifice in the old, uh, early king uh, ships uh, was the king. This is the young Cretan king. You never see pictures of old Cretan kings. <laughs> the, uh, the, there's a cycle, s s frequently of about eight years, associated with the cycle of the planet Venus. Uh, where the king is killed, the book The King Must Die, which brings this thing forward. And then substitute for the king was the bull. In Egypt, for example, the Sed Festival was a festival when a very special bull was sacrificed. Now, the attitude of, the, of antiquity to sacrifice is something that I don't think we can uh, uh, appreciate very well. The animal sacrificed or the young person sacrificed was perfect. Anyone with a flaw was unworthy to be sacrificed. And the, the big surprise, the thing that really uh, lets you know that it's another psychology, comes when you read about the ball games of the Maya Indians. Uh, the ball courts, this was a, a, a ritual game, and the captain of the winning team was beheaded in the field by the captain of the losing team. Um, it's the winner who is worthy to be sacrificed, and that is the climax of a life. <clears throat> I don't think, as captain of a basketball team, I would urge my team with great enthusiasm. 